This might look like a normal house, but it's actually a sting house loaded with hidden cameras. This man's name is Elmer, and he's 32 years old, and he's coming to this house right now. What he's expecting is a 13-year-old girl who's home alone that he's gonna have sex with. Not today. He's gonna be confronted by us, Trilogy Media, in collaboration with Courtney Elizabeth. And we're gonna make him answer for his sick and twisted attempts to groom and have sex with a child. Not unlike the last predator, he brought something with him that we were not expecting. He may have a knife in his pocket. I'm still reaching. Right, okay. Can you stand up for me, please? It's very real now, isn't it? You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand this? You have the right to have an attorney present during questioning. Do you understand this? I know that you're nervous right now. Are you on drugs right now? Yeah. Bored, sorry. <laughs> excited. Huh? I'm just bored. Sorry. Excited. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for part. Okay, I'll let you go then. Hopefully there's one kind of close. Good luck. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, unknowns, but um, one thing I know for sure is that we are prepared. And uh, we're going to give it our all. 
and um, thank you guys for allowing us to do this. We're in the sting house and we're waiting for Elmer to arrive any minute now. But before he does, I want to tell you about Guardio at guard.io slash trilogy. Please check out Guardio. They're the whole reason why we can even afford to do this. Every bit of support we get from sponsors and from contributions from our squad goes right back into us upping our game. Even six months ago, we would not have been able to put something this elaborate together. So thank you guys so much. Let's check them out. Guard.io slash Trilogy. It secures your browser. If you haven't installed it to your browser yet, what are you waiting for? Guardio is our exclusive security partner, helping us to continue exposing scammers and predators every single day. And they offer a great product that we use ourselves and we truly believe in. It's a browser extension that provides real-time browsing protection as you surf the web. Every site you visit, every link you click on, if it's malicious, Guardio will block it before it has any access to do harm to your computer. Guardio is your browser's bodyguard, and we trust them because they truly are the best at what they do. The browser is where it starts. That's what you use to access the internet. It's also where a lot of your personal information is stored, like your passwords and your addresses and your credit cards. So much more that you might not even be aware of. And that has to be protected. So many people underestimate that. Go get the extension right now and try a seven-day free trial to get real-time protection. And do a free scan of your browser right now. It takes 30 seconds. And you might be shocked to see what threats are actually found. And you can add up to five thousand family members onto your account at uh, no extra charge to protect your parents, protect your grandparents, um, hook them up. Use the link guard.io slash trilogy for the free trial and for a huge discount. Give it a try, seven days free guard.io slash trilogy and get 20% off of okay, wow. Now, let's take down another child predator. He's looking for parking right now, so he's here. Okay. He's here, he's here, he's, he's here. He's here. Yeah. Probably be another 45 minutes for parking. Oh my God. Fucking turtle asshole. Elmer's calling. Hello? Hey. Hi. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Um, do you want me to meet you outside or something? What? Alright, you can just come to the door. Oh, uh, it's here. Okay. Okay. I texted you what house is mine. What? I texted you, a house is mine. Oh, yeah. All right. Can you, can you come outside? Yeah, I'll come outside. Okay. All right, bye. Game on. Yeah, let's go. <sighs> oh, they're crazy. Sorry, I wasn't expecting you to be right there. Uh, yeah. Hey, you alone? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> sorry, I was working. Oh, it's okay. Are you really too thin? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm just nervous. Me too. Yeah. You see your father? Oh, that's my brother. Yeah. Um, yeah. He lives in a. Uh, Wisconsin, so. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so what's up? Do you? Yeah. Did you bring any weed? Or no? Just wondering. Oh, that's okay. What do you want to do? I don't know. I'm down for whatever. <laughs> yeah. I could go for some pizza. <laughs> Yeah, what's happening? It's an ID, man. Too hey, don't. Yeah. They're gonna ask you some questions. Sit back and relax for a bit. Be all right. It's the only one you got. Yeah. What are you doing in this house? Oh, uh, it's came to BC. Her. Who is she? Oh, uh, we was texting like. To watch TV or something. Oh, yeah? Oh, hang up. How old is she? Oh, uh, he says 13. And how old are you? Huh? How, how old, old are you? you? 32. 32? Yeah. What's your name? Elmer. Elmer? 
Were you? What were you here to do? Oh, I just wanted to talk. Talk about what? Why did you uh, touch my leg? Tell me to sit closer if you were just here to talk. Do you send everybody dick pics? The one that you want to talk? Um, did you send her anything inappropriate? Okay. Yeah. No. no? Nothing inappropriate. You want to try again? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. You, you remember now? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, what did you mean by fun? You wanted to have fun. What 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 did you mean when you said when you said that? What's your definition? Go out. Huh? No, go out. Go out. Yeah. You like to give kisses, I see. Yeah? What? Kiss 13-year-old girls? No. Never. We so have everything. I have everything you've sent here. So, I wasn't born yesterday. Dude, got your freaking shit. You send a 13 years old kid your naked dick pic of your body. You came to this house. What is that? That's your dick? To a child. You have children, right? How would you feel if a grown man sent their penis and asked for child porn in, re in return, how would you feel if someone did that to your kids? So you feel bad for the other kids, but it's okay to send her th knowingly. Did she tell you she's 13? And what was your response? That's okay, right? It did not even cross your mind that she's 13. That's okay. How many children are you talking to right now? How many children are you talking to right now? Just, I was typing to So we look in your phone, it's only her? Yeah. We're not gonna find anybody else besides her. Yeah, I just seen, I was texting, I was looking in that, in that app, because it's for older guys. Right, but younger people are on it, and clearly you're talking to someone underage on that app. You were though, yeah. Yes, you, you, you ask for sexy photos? You ask if she smokes weed? To a 13 year old child. Are you married? What do you have to say for yourself? But you do have kids, right? Yeah. How many? Two. How old? One, ten. Ten. So you're coming here to meet someone three years older than your 10 year old. Where's my vids? Can I get a video of you to see you better? Send me like this one with your big dick hanging out. I mean naked or underwear, you're cute. Send me your address, we'll have some fun. Do you know what's gonna happen to you right now? Do you have any idea? What should happen to you, what do you think? I go to jail. You think you belong in jail? Yes or no? You don't think you no. belong in jail? But if someone did this to your 10 year old, do you think that he would belong in jail? Do you have a criminal record? Record? Well, that might change after today. Oh yeah. Just a little bit, yeah. Do, well, what were you thinking on the drive here? Like, what what would have you done if there was an actual 13-year-old girl, girl here? You, you touched my leg, told me to sit closer. So, what would have you done after that if there was a 13-year-old girl here? I mean, you seemed pretty comfortable right off the bat. Are you on drugs right now? Yeah. Are you on drugs right now? I uh, just was smoking weed okay do you even realizing what just happened do you know how badly you just fucked up your life especially for your kids who gonna take care of the kids when you're gonna be in jail in prison you might not be able to see them again now without permission or supervision or supervision your kids that's the severity of this situation that you put us all in today. So because you horny as fuck, your kids have to pay the circumstances right now. 
because daddy is so horny and want to have sex with 13 years old kid. Do you realize how fucked up it is? Yeah. You cannot find a girlfriend the same age. You have to go online and chase kids to satisfy you. You're acting like you just watched fucking Marley and me. Do you realize what just happened? Do you, do you, think do you this have is a fairy tale? Are you sorry? Are you re regretful? Are you what are you what, like, what, what the are fuck? you thinking right now? Now what if you showed up and she was really here as a 13 year old girl, just you and her? What would have happened? What, are you gonna say nothing? As if you didn't touch my leg? Like, really nothing would have happened? No, I don't do nothing. You wouldn't do anything? No. You wouldn't have touched her leg? Cause you did. I think he's so high out of his mind, he don't even realizing how fucked up right now he is. It'll hit him soon. You ruined your kid's life and your life over one decision that you chose to make. Do you get that now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. I don't think it's so. It's alright. We have friends coming that gonna, you know, will make you realize everything that just happened. Maybe we not, you know, not good enough to process what you just fucking did. How many real children have you met up with? Be honest. No. No. What made this 13 year old so special then? No one believes you when you say it's never happened before. Nobody believes you. Texting we had like, I asked, I, I, I didn't, I didn't think that what she was real 13 years. So you didn't think it was real, so you thought you would check it out anyway. Why are you here if it wasn't real? It's very real now, isn't it? Have you ever done anything to your kids? What would you do to somebody if somebody will do something to your kids? As a father, what would you do to those people? Would you harm those people? Bad things, bad things, right? It's like interesting how you would do bad things and it will hurt somebody who will hurt your kids, but you okay meanwhile going after 13 years old and sending your fucking nude pictures. And, and, and asking for nude pictures back. That's illegal. You know that's a crime. So that's what attracts you? Little kids? No? I mean, it's but you're here. You're here, right? What, what are you doing here then? You're, like, gonna, you're gonna read her a book? You're gonna help her with the math? With the geography? You grabbed my leg, told me to sit closer. Little, like, looks like you wanna explore her geography. Her body geography. Well, you know what? You will have time to process that, but definitely not here. Hi, Thank you so much come, for coming. Hello. He may have a knife in his pocket, I'm seeing on his right there, just FYI. Don't reach for right, it, okay? Can you stand up for me, please? Yeah. Are you intoxicated? I mean, I, I just don't speak too much. Okay. Right. Can you stand up for me, please? Thank you. Okay. Do you speak English? Not so much. He speaks very you good speak English. You perfectly, like... For four days straight, it was great. You don't speak English? No, you speak better Spanish? Okay. Not that you want to see that, but that's what he's sending the child. Yeah. What are you saying? Uh, you have a knife? I grabbed it. Oh, okay. Okay, have a seat. Okay, you're not an. I'm Officer Schoolmaker, Glendale PD. You're not under arrest. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Okay, I'll get a Spanish. I'll get a Spanish speaking officer here so that there's no confusion with what we're asking you and what you're understanding, okay? So do you speak uh, any English or are you just gonna tell me you don't speak English? I don't speak like 2040. I'm 30% English and mostly Spanish, probably Mexican. Okay. Okay, then we're just gonna wait until our, our partner who speaks Spanish can come and explain your rights to you. Okay? Do you live around here? No, I live in Sydney. Okay. Why is your pants wet? Uh, I was working. What? I was working. I think that's why. 
Where do you work at? Switching Where do you work? Oh, I want some Porter Ranch. Porter Ranch? Yeah. How'd you get here? Oh, I just... Did you drive or...? Yeah, I just passed by. You just passed by? Yeah. Okay. You seem to speak English perfectly fine, so I'm going to read you your rights, okay? Just so you understand it. Mm -hmm. uh, just because I want you to be aware of it, okay? If you don't understand it, I want you to tell me you don't understand. Okay. okay? You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand this? Remains. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand this? Yeah. That means you have the right to not talk. Do you understand that? Okay. Okay. Anything you say maybe you get used against you in court. Do you understand this? Yeah. Do you understand that? Okay. You have the right to have an attorney present during questioning. Do you understand this? Mm, no, no. You have the right to have a lawyer before questioning. Do you understand this? Yeah. Okay. If you want an attorney but cannot afford an attorney, uh, what one will be appointed to you at no cost to you before questioning? Do you understand this? Mm. If you want a lawyer, but you can't, if you don't have the money for a lawyer, uh, we can help you get a lawyer. Mm. You understand that? Yeah. Okay. I just want you to be aware of your rights. And like I said, you're not you're not under arrest. You're just being detained right now. Did you say you drove here? Yeah. Okay. What kind of car do you have? Just curious. Uh, it's a Toyota. Toyota. Green, gray, green, gray. Okay, this is my partner, Officer Covarrubias. Since um, you're saying that you don't really understand English very well, I wanted him to read you um, the rights in Spanish too, okay? Just so you're aware of it. Yeah, I was just going to see if I can buy the letters. That way we can the idea. Okay, yeah, double. Escuchas? Escuchas again? Okay, the Lord, 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 the Usted tiene el derecho de permanecer en silencio, entiende usted esto. Cualquier cosa que diga puede ser usada contra usted en la corte, entiende usted esto. Si usted desea tener un abogado presente, pero no tiene el dinero para pagarlo, un abogado se le asignará sin costo antes de la interrogación, entiende usted esto. ¿Sí? Okay. You, you I asked him all the questions in Spanish. She said okay. yes. Um, why did you come here today? Why did you come here today? For the papers? Why not the papers? He came here to verify that he didn't want somebody to buy anything. Did you have any cars? Okay. I want you to understand that uh, I'm not judging you. I know that you're nervous right now. I know that you got you're surrounded by a lot of people. Um, I just want to understand why you're here, what happened, what the conversation was with this girl. It's my understanding that she was 13 years old, this girl that you were talking to. Entonces, lo que ella está diciendo no lo está juzgando. Ella tiene que estar a veces estar nervioso porque hay mucha gente aquí ahorita en las circunstancias. Lo único que quieres uh, verificar es qué sucedió, cuál fue la conversación que tuviste con la muchacha y, um, y confirmar lo que más. Para que se me siga. Okay. Did you know that she was 13 before you came here? You, you, you speak, you understand what I'm asking you. Okay. You did, right? Okay. Um, how long have you been talking to her? Like three days. Three days? Okay. And um, you knew that she was 13? Did you know that she was going to be here by herself? Yeah, she told me. Okay. Did she say, like, did you guys agree that you were going to have sex together today? Mm, not sex. What was going to happen today? We, I told her that we want to watch TV or something. Okay. No, do nothing. Like that. Okay. You were just gonna come here and have uh, watch TV with a thirteen-year-old. Yeah, because, because if she is thirteen, I could stay with you. Because it's not right to let some some we I'm this. Right. Okay, but you knew that she was 13, you came here, she knew that she was going to be by herself. I mean, let's let's be real, I don't I don't believe that you just came here because you, you thought that you wanted to verify that she was 13 and that you guys were just going to watch TV. And look, it, we all make mistakes, okay, we're all human, nobody's perfect, we all make mistakes. Um, like I said, I'm not here to judge you. I really just want to understand what happened. I want to understand your side of the story, okay? 
And it, my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, is you met this girl online who you believed was 13 years old, correct? Yeah, I, I, I was thinking because in the app it says she was 16 and I, yeah, 16 and then I was asking her hello or okay. just to, to know her, you know, but I'm not gonna do nothing to someone who is expecting you. Then why are you here? That's. I just want you to be honest with me. I don't want to play this game. I just want you to be honest, okay? Like, let's just let's just have integrity from from here on out. Like, just just be honest as to why you're here. I don't believe that you know you knew that she was 13 and you came here. You're gonna watch TV with a 13 year old. That makes no sense. You know, those conversations that you've been having with her, they're all locked. All these conversations that you've been having with the 13 year old. So I just want to see your mindset. Like, are you lonely and you wanted to have sex with her? What, what's going on with you that that brought you here today? Like, what's going on in your life that made you come here and want to have sex with a 13 year old? Okay. Why was it a mistake? To come here. Okay. Do you understand that it's wrong to? Have sex with a 13 year old? Yeah, that's wrong. Okay, were you sexually attracted to her before you came here? When you guys were talking, obviously, you know, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but were you sexually attracted to her? That's what brought you here today? No, no sexual. You know. That was a mistake to send that, the picture. What, what picture? The picture. I don't really know about anything from the past. I'm just, I don't have a history. You send a picture of yourself to, to the girl? Yeah. What kind of picture? I like a picture. Okay. Of your body parts? Yeah. Okay. So you sent a picture of your penis to this girl who you know is 13 years old? Correct? Yeah. Did you know that she was 13? Was it your understanding that she was 13 when you sent her the picture of your penis? Yeah. Okay. Elmer, I know you're nervous, okay? I, I could sense yeah, how nervous you are, and I understand it. But I also just don't want you to BS me, okay? It's, it's, it makes, it's like, um, it's a waste of time to BS and try to make it sound like you were just here to watch TV, okay? It's just a waste of time, and it makes no sense. No, um, I wasn't born yesterday, okay? You, do you understand what I'm saying? All right, we're just going in circles. All right, can you stand up for me, please? Hold the model on us. Can you show me hands? I put some hands. Yes. No, wait. Yeah, these are good. That's fine. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
My name is Ryan Montgomery, also known as Zero Day in the cybersecurity industry. I'm the founder of multiple software companies and proudly ranked number one on the Try Hack Me leaderboard. Another suspect named Elmer. Um, I didn't have a full name, but I had a first name, Elmer, and I knew the state was California in a, in a general location. I was also sent a phone number, and it happened to be a fake number, the same way the last suspect, actually same provider, ironically. The team catches Elmer, and he was using his real name. He used his full name. I was able to gather from his information after the fact uh, where he lives, his phone numbers, his emails, his IP address even. I was able to find you know, where he's logged in on other websites in the past. Some of his uh, neighbors, his alias on some really inky dating websites, bail set $75,000. For him, he wasn't so lucky. He's still sitting in there. Nobody bailed him out. We'll be updating you with more information when we get it. Thank you so much for watching another Trilogy vs. Predator. Thank you to Courtney and Zero Day for another awesome collaboration and another gigantic shout out to Officer Schoonmaker and the rest of the Glendale Police Department for their exemplary service. Go show them some love on their Twitter. We'll be back in Glendale in no time at all. An extended version of this confrontation can be found on our streaming platform, Trilogy Plus, where you can also access the entire chat logs of conversation between Elmer and our decoy. Also later this month on Trilogy Plus, we're gonna have a Beyond the Sting episode, which is gonna have behind the scenes videos and exclusive interviews about this entire Stinghouse weekend experience, as well as a Dexter's debrief well, I'm gonna talk about some shit. Also, don't forget to check out Guardio, our exclusive sponsor on this channel, helping us to bust the bad guys every single day. Guard.io slash Trilogy is where you'll find them and where you'll get the best discount. You need to protect your browser. Your family needs their browser protected. Guardio is the one for the job. Guard.io slash Trilogy. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.